Beware of household witchcraft. How to destroy their operations. Gilbert, I have to tell you, I'm so proud of the man you've become. You're doing really well for yourself. Thanks, Mom. I'm just trying my best. Seriously, you've been my pillar of strength. I appreciate everything you do for me. Well, Mom, you've always been there for me. It's the least I can do to take care of you. You're my only family. It means the world to me, Gilbert. I never expected you to be this amazing. You're my source of joy. Mom, it's my duty. You've done so much for me, in the past, and now it's my turn to look after you. I want to make sure you're always taken care of. Though, I never expected you to be this amazing. You're my source of joy. I'm blessed to have you as my soon, Gilbert. Always remember that. Meanwhile, Mom. You know. I think I should get married and bring you a wife. So you could see someone to interact with when they am gone for official trips. Gilbert, please I wouldn't want you to rush such a thing. You have to take your time, you know. Mom, are you for real? You surprise me, Mom. I thought you would be very much excited. Mindy, these moments with you mean everything to me. I can't imagine my life without you. Gilbert, you make every day brighter, for me. I feel so lucky to have you. Mindy, there's something I've been wanting to ask you. You know, ever since we met. It has always been from one good moment to another. I want a lifetime friend and companion. You've brought so much joy into my life, and I want to spend the rest of it with you. Please, would you marry me? Gilbert, yes, a thousand times, yes. I never expected this, Gilbert. I love you so much. I love you too, Mindy. I want to build a future together, and I can't wait to make you my wife. Good evening, Mom. Welcome, Gilbert. You look so excited. What's happening? Did you win a new contract? Mom, I have something important to tell you. A good news. I engaged Mindy today. Engaged? Why didn't you discuss this with me beforehand, Gilbert? I wanted it to be a surprise, Mom. I thought you'd be happy for me. Surprise or not, this is a significant decision, and you should have talked to me first. Who is Mindy, and why didn't you involve me in such an important choice? Mom, Mindy is an amazing lady, and I love her. We have been dating for some time now, and we compliment each other. Gilbert, this is your future we're talking about. You can't just make such decisions without considering the family. Mom, I understand, but I love Mindy, and I want to build a life with her. I am very certain, you will like her. You're risking everything, Gilbert. I don't think I support this your decision. And I don't think this your Mindy is good for you. Mom, you don't even know the lady and you are against her. I want you to be a part of my happiness. I hope with time, you'll see how much Mindy means to me. I just have to inform you, because, very soon Mindy and I will tie the nut. The next day. Great mother, I'm desperate. Gilbert, my son is about to get married. And I can't let that happen. You failed to renew the charm man to keep his mind away from marriage. I forgot to renew it. I thought the initial spell will keep his mind away forever, from marriage. You made a covenant. And neglection of that is a serious matter. You know the consequences. Yes I know, I made that pact for Gilbert to remain single. As my only son, I don't want any useless woman to take him away from me. Please, great mother, you have to help me, stop him from marrying that girl. I will prepare another charm. But this time, it will be used on the lady your son is about to marry. But how do I get it on her? Just get any gift and cast a spell on it, with the charm. Then pretend to have accepted her. And tell your son to bring her home for you to know her. When she comes, give her the gift, and as soon as she touches the gift, she will decline from their planned marriage. Two days later. Mindy, my mom called me today. She's not just accepting us. She's excited to meet you. Really, that's wonderful news. 
I was a bit worried after what you told me the other day about her disapproval. She gave us her blessings, and she even got you a gift. Here is the gift. Take it. Oh, these earrings are beautiful. Your mom got these for me. Yeah, she said it's a symbol of acceptance and a welcoming gift. That's so sweet. I can't wait to meet her. She's eager to meet you too. She said you can come over anytime. I'm looking forward to it. Wow, your mom seems really kind. She is. And I'm grateful she's on board with us. Me too, Gilbert. Let's plan a visit soon, and I'll thank her in person for the lovely earrings. Two weeks later. Mom. I will be away for two days. But I'll be in touch. It's okay, my son. Meanwhile. Gilbert, it's been two weeks. When are you bringing Mindy over? Mom, it's complicated. Mindy has changed. She's avoiding me, and I don't understand why. But you told me she was so happy and accepting when we last spoke. I don't know what happened. She won't even talk to me. It's like she's a different person. Gilbert, I told you from the beginning that Mindy might not be the right one for you. I thought things were going well. She even loved the earrings you gave her. People change, Gilbert. Maybe it's for the best. You deserve someone who truly values and respects you. It's just hard to understand, Mom. One moment everything is perfect, and now, she doesn't even want to see me again. Sometimes, we face disappointments, my son, but it's important to move forward. Mindy is certainly not meant to be in your life. You have to move on with your life. It's just so confusing, Mom. Trust me, Gilbert. I had this bad feeling about her earlier. Take this as a sign, or confirmation, and focus on your own happiness. Cheer up, Gilbert. The right person will come along when the time is right. Thames Mom. I have to go now. Yes. The charm worked so perfect. Oh, my son, I am very sorry. You can't get married to any women. My covenant with the Great Mother must be maintained. This is the path the spirits have set for us. And I can't compromise that. So I don't face their wrath. Gilbert, you can't get married. <laughs> Several months following the mysterious breakup of Gilbert and Mindy, Gilbert encountered another woman named Scarlett. They grew close, eventually resulting in Gilbert proposing to her and promptly introducing her to his mother. Scarlett. It's a pleasure to meet you. Gilbert has spoken so highly of you. Thank you, ma'am. I'm happy to meet you too. Please feel comfortable here. So, Scarlett, tell me about yourself. Well, I'm a teacher, and I love reading and hiking. Gilbert and I share a passion for traveling. That's lovely. Gilbert mentioned you two have been getting along for some months now, to the extent of proposing to you. Yes, we have. He's an amazing person, and I feel fortunate to have him in my life. Gilbert means a lot to me. I just want to make sure he's with someone who truly cares for him. I genuinely care for Gilbert. He's been supportive and understanding, and I want to build a future with him. Once again, you are welcome. Thank you, ma'am. See you soon. See who soon. In your widest dream. Not in this house. I will make you disappear. Just like Mindy. A few days later, during a midnight prayer session, Scarlett experienced a revelation that Gilbert's mom is a witch, influencing and bewitching those on the brink of marrying Gilbert. You sounded so serious over the phone. What's the urgency? Something has been revealed to me during my midnight prayer session, and it's so disturbing. What is it, Scarlett? I have a revelation that your mom is involved in some form of witchcraft. She is the reason for your failed relationship all this while. Witchcraft? What are you talking about? Yes. She made some sort of covenant with a witch kingdom to keep you single for life. I discussed it with my pastor, and he advised me to share it with you. He believes we should engage in fasting and prayer to confront this spiritual challenge. Witchcraft? My mom. This is hard to believe. 
I know it's difficult, but we need to address it. Your pastor suggested a three-day fasting and prayer with specific warfare prayers to break any spiritual influence. I never thought I'd hear something like this. Are you sure about all this? I trust the revelation I received during prayer, Gilbert. We need to confront this spiritual battle together. I am sorry to say that you may not be spiritually sensitive like I do. But I assure you, this is very crucial and you need to trust me. I will give you prayer guide and some Bible references you can pray with. At least give it a try and pray in the midnight, while I do mine too. Please can we go talk to your pastor and get more guidance on how to proceed? I want to understand what's happening. No problem, if you insist. It's fine. Two days later. Heavenly Father, I come before you seeking guidance and protection and I rebuke any spiritual forces that may be influencing my life negatively. I put on your armor in accordance to your word in Ephesians 6 verses 11. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. In the name of Jesus, I break any chains or curses that may be affecting my relationship and bind any spirit of darkness in Jesus' mighty name. I lean on your word from Matthew 18 verses 18. Truly, I say to you, Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. I claim the promise in Psalm 91, 11 that your angels will guard and protect us from all harm. May your divine protection surround me, Lord. Father, grant me discernment to recognize and resist any form of manipulation or spiritual attacks. Let your truth prevail in my lives. May the holy fire and thunder from above strike any force that is against me and my relationship. Gilbert, please stop. I am sorry. I am the one behind all your failed relation. I made a covenant in the witch kingdom that you will never get married. Mom, I can't believe this. Musa, this is true. The revelation Scarlet told me. Please forgive me. Mom, I am so disappointed in you. You are the reason I have been struggling to settle with a wife. How could you be this mean and wicked and also pretend to love me? I thank God for meeting Scarlet. She is my liberation. Liberated from the his mom's evil manipulations, Gilbert married Scarlet. The couple decided to relocate to a different area. The decision to move was necessary as Gilbert could not trust his mom after the hearing the confessions that unfolded during the prayer and fasting period. The couple embarked on a new chapter, seeking a fresh start away from the spiritual turmoil that had shaken Gilbert's life. Thank you for watching, I hope this video will be useful to someone. Please share this video out for more visibility, it could be helpful to someone. Also, kindly support the channel by hitting on the subscribe button below, like our video, leave your contributions or experience in the comments section below and remember to turn on post notifications to the channel for more interesting and life-changing videos. God bless you.